He is straight up saying, oh my god, this is insane, honestly. He is straight up saying, my bosses suck. My saying some very drastic statements like, Xbox is where game series go to die. Oh my <laughs> god! <laughs> Alright, what up, Kaji? So this gaming industry is no games, all drama, okay? We're gonna be getting right into the story because we're talking about Halo, we're talking about Call of Duty, we're talking about Activision, Microsoft, incompetency, okay? These devs are incompetent as hell. It's crazy. We're gonna get into the story. Drop a thumbs up, subscribe if you're brand new because exactly one year after announcing their intention to buy Activision Blizzard, they're talking about Microsoft. Bruh. For 68 billion dollars, god damn it, man! Like, give me two cents, bro. Give me two cents. I can go to China right now. I can buy the entire Activision right there, bro. Yeah. Microsoft today announced they're laying off 10,000 employees. We have an update to the story. There's a video clip I want to show you. Keep this in mind. A year ago, they bought Activision. And today they laid off 10,000 employees from their workforce. And it might be like, okay, 10,000, it's a massive number. What do you mean like 10,000? What do you mean, okay? Like Bruh. it's 10,000 individual souls, bro. 10,000 people, all with their lives, all with families, all with mostly all, not um, no, not all, Bruh. but most of them with families of five, 10 kids, right? And Jason Schreier came out, he actually went in ganging style. He uh, reached out for a comment, but Microsoft declined to comment. Most of the employees that were laid off were working at Bethesda, and most of them were working at Halo. Now, this is actually really sad to see because I'm not into Halo, it's not my cup of tea, but I totally understand the language of pain. I love Call of Duty, man. I love Call of Duty, and the way Activision is killing that franchise, it is absolutely insane. Three thousand devs and mostly all of them 2900 of them most likely are working on the pride flags are working on the 20 dollar bundles and some of the most incompetent devs on the face of the planet i just cannot even understand this one boys and i want to actually show you guys this video sony ponies faster than your seal build bots fasten your seat belts as well okay let's get it. halo infinite and by extension the entirety of halo seems like it's screwed 343 Industries, the people that actually are the studio behind Halo as it currently exists, is about to collapse. Oh, Microsoft, oh, the heads of Xbox, just stepped in and fired pretty oh, much dang. everybody. QA teams, head writers, big designers, the director of the game itself, I mean everything about Halo Infinite and the studio 343 Industries, I mean they're straight up just telling these people, get the F out. But I want to talk about- Man, the this is truly insane and listen man, I want to know. One in the chat, if Fortnite, because listen, a lot of people, Bruh. don't bra me, listen, okay, listen, 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 everybody, gather on, gather on. Fortnite revolutionized the gaming industry. Maybe some will argue for better, some will argue for the worse. One, if you think they revolutionized gaming in a positive way, two, if not. Because in the last five years, mostly all the live service games that came out have been utter disaster, utter garbage, utter trash. I refuse. I was a defeated gamer. No longer. No longer. I lowered my expectations like crazy. Bro, gaming was insane. 10 years ago, five, 5 years ago, it was better than what we're getting nowadays. You're telling me Gotham Knights cannot do 60 FPS on next-gen consoles? I can give you countless examples. Call of Duty, I love that series, but they are dropping remaster maps. You do not believe me? Go over and uh, look up a Season 1. They're calling remaster maps new maps. That's what they titled. I love Shoot House. I love Shipment. Okay, those are the two maps that they brought in. But can a brother get new maps? Three uninterrupted years, 3,000 devs, some of the most incompetent devs on the face of the planet, some of the laziest devs. All they're working on is $20 trash bundles. All they're working on is pride flags, no content, no bap, no sauce. And it hurts to see. It's sad to see what they're doing. Even Microsoft is getting involved with this one. They are just don't even give a damn about their franchises uh, halo for example a lot of people love that not my cup of tea so what right i do know a lot of people love that it's getting the same treatment all the live service games that came out in the last five years have been utter trash the content is just not there they're copying fortnite and this is why i asked where you stand with this one i do feel like that fortnite revolutionized gaming Bruh. in a positive way but for their own game not the entire gaming because everyone that's trying to copy fortnite is just falling it's just failing now copying and taking inspiration are two different things it's perfectly fine to take inspiration and to a certain extent even copy it but you gotta put your own twist to it and they are trying to put their own twist 
but in a wrong way. They are copying it, but they're not delivering the content. You look at Fortnite, I don't play it. I don't love it, I don't hate it, it's not my cup of tea. But the content Fortnite is getting is just way beyond what every other game is getting. Now listen, I'm not saying that every game should drop the same amount of content, the same level of content as Fortnite, because Fortnite is a completely different game. Not everybody's into it, heck, even I'm not into it, but all I'm saying is that if you're gonna copy the Battle Pass model, which I think is a really good model, a lot of people are fine with it, but the content that we get in Battle Pass and games outside of Fortnite is just not substantial. There is no quality, there is no soul. It is rushed, it is garbage, they are ma manipulating. In Call of Duty, we got the algorithms. Listen, man, I hate to be, maybe you're gonna be calling me toxic, so be it, but I refuse to now lower my standards. I refuse to, I did that. I did lower my expectations. You go back two weeks ago, I would never be saying this. Gaming is so dry, it's so dry as hell, and they're killing franchises that people love for the sake of what? Profits? My guy, you can drop some quality content, people will come and you're gonna make a lot more money, bruh. This because honestly, I don't think I've ever seen such a instant level of chaos from a studio that's currently in development. Let's talk about that. What's up, Gabe? Dreamcast guy here. Hi, hope you're having a great day. If you could like this video and subscribe if you haven't already. So yesterday, I did a big video talking about hey the man, fact can a brother get two likes on the video? Bumbukas! Randomly, Microsoft decided to lay off 10,000 employees. They cut some Dang. jobs to maximize their profits. Now, when this story initially came out, and technically I am filming this in the middle of the night, um, Bruh. this was kind of a big shock, but we weren't really sure how big the implications of this were going to be. Microsoft has almost 200,000 employees so this what? is technically just five percent but additionally we weren't sure how many of these layoffs were going to come from the xbox game devs and it turned out to be more than we expected apparently they fired a bunch of people and, and listen right now there are a lot of people that are hella suspect and i don't blame anybody okay because activision has been acquired by microsoft and a lot of people are panicking a lot of people are really sus a lot of people are like man they're gonna be running call of duty to the ground call of duty is already to the ground Bruh. Activision has ran that game to the, <laughs> to the ground how much more they can run it to the ground but listen I totally understand you. I totally Bruh. hear you. One, if you think Microsoft should not get Call of Duty after what just uh, what they just did, two, if they should acquire it. Listen, man, I want to be optimistic, but I'm one of those guys like, listen, man, you gotta you gotta hope for the best, but prepare for the worst. If you love Call of Duty in the current stage, or if you're not liking it, but you're a fan of Call of Duty, two things gonna happen. Either Call of Duty is gonna get saved, and if it gets saved, that's gonna be a miracle, bro. That's gonna be a miracle, and that's basically what. I want to see. I hope Microsoft save it if they acquire it because right now the situation is kind of 50 50 whether uh, Microsoft's gonna get it or not. Chances are like 50 50. Let, let's be real because the EU is Bruh. getting their schlong, getting their schlongs involved. The FTCs are trying to F them right in there. <laughs> there. And, and the situation is 50 50. Secondly, Call of Duty is gonna go down just like Halo and they're gonna be using all of those uh, Call of Duty 3000 devs to be making <laughs> microtransactions and uh, maybe a brand new Halo free to play maybe they're gonna be working on more immobile games or something like that you never know man Bethesda, the people that are working on Starfield but most importantly 343 Industries was absolutely blown up people are saying that straight up Bruh. Joseph Staten the director of Halo Infinite, the guy that actually joined the studio to help launch the game in 2020. People were celebrating when this guy actually joined on the team. He has decided to leave the studio and is going to rejoin Xbox Publishing. Oh, now, even though he is still part of technically the bigger team Xbox, I think this is a very bad sign because Damn. additionally, we now have a bunch of talks about the fact that Damn, there is a son, bunch of large-scale departures. 343 Industries is actually being completely gutted by the top. I mean, people are saying that right now, even though we don't know the exact numbers, it's pretty large and it's pretty senior. This means the executives, the people at the top. Bro, gaming is all no games and just drama, man. That's Bumble what it is. That's the what people it is, that are bro. actually the taste makers 
creating the vibe of Halo Infinite, that is the people that apparently are getting fired fastest. He says here, I wonder if this is a warning, a shift to the future of Halo. Will 343 Industries be relegated to maintenance of existing Halo services with huh? another studio taking the franchise going forward? Now, I've seen a lot of people sort of kicking this idea around. What if 343 Industries is being broken down because somebody else is going to step in to make- Th That's just Corpium. That is just- <laughs> That that is just copium. Like, listen, I, man, I, I'll tell you this. Money talks. I'm not even saying. I'm not even saying anything revolutionary. I'm not even saying anything like, wow, people never heard. <laughs> people, oh my, oh my god. god, oh you my god. god, you know, never heard of that. Mm -mm, you're always <laughs> in I'm not even saying anything too crazy. Money talks. Money talks. Halo did not make that money. People are not playing that game the way people used to play that game. And how can you blame people? You didn't deliver the content. Initially, I remember Halo launched and a lot of people were loving it. A lot of the, the Halo community was for it. Just like a Modern Warfare 2, bro. Modern Warfare 2 came out and everybody was playing it. And right now, like 73%, 75% of the community just bumble Bumblecut. Completely gone the next version of Halo. Now, originally, there was a lot of talk that Halo Infinite was going to be a 10-year project, that we would be playing this game until 2030. Bruh. It definitely seems like that what? is not the case at all anymore. Uh, it doesn't oh seem like we're God. going to get any more single-player content. Even the microtransactions and stores and stuff have kind of dried up, and it's only been two years, roughly. But more than that, I think it's pretty dang obvious that really, if they're going to try and reinvent Halo, they're probably going to bring in a different developer, like somebody working on something like Doom Eternal. Imagine if they had the Doom Eternal team do their own take on Halo. Maybe personally i would love to see that i'd at very least like to see a different take on halo uh, thoughts on this one wrl i'm not familiar with uh, these dev companies so i'm not gonna give my opinion it can be a w it can be an l but if you are familiar i want to know your thoughts this for train sure. wreck we've been dealing with but then we have some very interesting takes so this is the guy who was the former senior multiplayer designer this guy freaking patrick Wren. All I see is incompetent, bro. Like, the devs nowadays, do you, who do you blame in this situation? I want to know. One, if you blame the devs. Two, if you blame the publishers. The reason I used to always blame the publishers, for example, Call of Duty, if anything goes wrong, I'll blame the Activision. But now I'm kind of changing this idea because you look at Call of Duty Mobile, that game is getting so much content and, and the, the mobile gamers, uh, the mobile community, they are actually quite happy. They are loving Call of Duty Mobile right now and the devs are dropping so much content for that game and there is no complaints. I have yet to hear any complaints from a mobile Call of Duty gamer out there because they're getting so much content. They're busy playing. This is why I, I, I tend to believe that the, the dev team, that 3000 devs that are working on Call of Duty, they are incompetent as hell. Some of them has to be passionate. Some of them surely are passionate. There are good apples for sure. There are bad apples, good apples. But I think this day and age is just incompetent as as hell, bro. He made the Halo Infinite multiplayer. In my opinion, that's the oh, very damn. best part of the game itself is the multiplayer, oh, facing other Spartans, trying to do capture the flag, the random Fiesta game modes, and honestly, just how great the weapons themselves feel. That is, in very large part, due to this gentleman, and he has a very spicy set of inflammatory takes. Ow. Check this out. The layoffs at 343 Industries shouldn't have happened, and Halo Infinite should be in a better state. Emotional, damn it! Damn, the reason for both of those things is incompetent. Damn. The reason for both of those things is incompetent leadership up top during the development causing massive stress on those working hard to make him halo the best it could be he is straight up saying oh my god this is insane honestly he is straight up saying my bosses suck my boss's bosses sucked. My boss's boss's bosses also kind of sucked. He is straight up saying the management structure inside of 343 was just so broken that the most passionate, dedicated, obsessive people trying to make the best game ever still could not due to the conditions that they had created. He even follows it up saying that straight Bruh. up. This is going to sound insane, okay? They have all the money in the world. Activision, it's a multi-billion dollar, okay, multi-multi-billion dollar company. It's understandable that they cannot draw more than two multiplayer maps every two months because it's a multi-billion dollar. We should not be, do not bully a multi-billion dollar company. Understandable. But what about this trillion dollar company? You're telling Bruh. me this trillion dollar company couldn't, uh, couldn't produce a good game? Man, they have been producing bangers 
for years and now you're telling me in this day and age they are more profitable they're making more money than god right now they're making more money than they ever had you go back 10 years ago they were making money a lot of money but not as much as what they are making today and still they are incompetent as hell bro incompetent gamers listen we need to up our standards bro like i see you but but bro like you need to up your standards you really need to up your standards i'm done being a defeated gamer back then we didn't have 20 dollar bundles we didn't have 20 dollar bundles they're making more money from those microtransactions than they're making money from the actual sales of the game up that this is just the best people it seems like the people that ended up trying to make the best halo ever are the people that got laid off for their hard work now, I have seen some pretty spicy people online, some people that are a bit upset about the idea of this, saying some very drastic statements like, Xbox is where game series go to die. Oh, Holy heck! Look at that, we were the maker of Halo have been hit hard by the Microsoft layoffs, and it looks like even the campaign and single player team have been heavily impacted. Got a Sony pony, stop laughing, okay? If you're a bot, man, I feel you, bro. I feel you, bros. I feel you, man. VS gamers were getting done absolutely dirty. Man. Making any cool side quests, a lot of those original ideas that are established in the campaign we have so far, I guess we're never gonna figure out what the heck any of those big question marks actually mean. It is insane because even really dedicated fans, like the very mega people that love Halo Infinite and played a bunch of the multiplayer for Season 1 and Season 2, are understandably disappointed. This is Susie Hunter. Now, she is typically a uh, horror YouTuber. She does a lot of spooky videos about stuff like Dead Space and Resident Evil. Well, she is a mega fan. She loves, loves oh Halo God. Infinite. And even she is saying that the game right now is just doing stuff like the limited event shop is making stuff free, repeating same items in the shop, they fast-tracked Forge, they rushed out custom games as a browser, they're supposed to be a season three of content, but this does not bode well for the future of the game after that. See now, what I was this saying? Is the See what I'm saying? These devs are incompetent as hell, bro. I don't get it. They have more money than ever. They have more resources than ever. Their engines have gotten better. Graphics have gotten better. Computers have gotten better. They have more people than ever. They have more money than ever. They, their stocks are up in comparison to before. Yeah, the stock market is kind of down a little bit, but still their stocks are up compared to the last 10 years. Their fan bases are bigger than ever. I don't get interesting twist to this is that from what it sounds like a lot of the big dev stuff the major elements that are coming up to Halo Infinite for probably the next six months a lot of that stuff is probably done a, a lot of the new mm. microtransactions a lot of the new character skins if they're trying to do any big tweaks or touches or new maps that stuff is probably almost complete I don't think we're really going to notice this stuff in an active way until about the summer of 2023 all of a sudden the game's content is just going to completely dry up I mean this is probably going to get Thanos snapped out of existence and Halo fans are just gonna have to sit there and wonder what the heck is coming next now yeah. i do believe personally that microsoft just wasn't making money on halo infinite i think that despite the fact that they were talking about the amount of people logging in yeah, it's very yeah it's a very much a given at this point it, it truly is because if it was making money they wouldn't have done this i gotta give credit to cyberpunk i know this is a game we're lowering our expectations and whatnot because that game should have came out working but hey man at least they are trying to fix their game they're still trying to come out with dlc at least they are striving towards and in the case of cyberpunk the management the publishers really f the devs up the devs are still trying and they're still giving content and to a certain extent even the publishers are trying to do their part but ladies and gentlemen click on this video on the screen some of the angriest video i ever produced based on what activision just did they just quit on call of duty click on this video on the screen or click the video on the left it's a brand new series that you're probably not gonna believe what happened so click on that and i'll see you right there